guys, thanks so much for watching my YouTube channel. Um, I am gonna do this like green and brown kind of shimmery look on the eyes. It's pretty done, but somebody like me, I would wear it every day. So if you wanna see what I did, uh, please keep watching. All right, so we're gonna get started. So I am going to put a little bit of paint pot on my eye to start. This is the Rubenesque uh, Paint Pot by MAC, and this is just gonna give me like a nice kind of peachy, shimmery um, base, just to make the eye makeup kind of stick and just appear a little bit more vibrant. I did put a little bit of mineral makeup on this morning. I'm just gonna touch that up with the loose one. Next, I'm gonna use this green um, and brown eyeshadow set from Estee Lauder. This is one of my absolute favorites. Um, so I'm gonna take a flat stiff brush like this and I'm gonna dip that into the more vibrant green color and I'm gonna just put this on the circular part of my lid. And the flat stiff brush will really allow me to concentrate the color. And I'm just going up to the crease, a little below the crease actually, especially because I have a deep set eye, if I go into the crease, it ends up up here. Okay, so I wanna kind of blend out where I have this vibrant green. So I'm gonna go into my MAC eyeshadows and I'm gonna use um, this one or this one. I think this one is Wedge. Wedge or Cork, or if you have the Naked Palette, Buck is another really great um, blending color if you're kind of fair to medium skin tone. I'm gonna take a little bit more and kind of sweep the edge towards the inner corner. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so that you can see. And you can see I've got this like light brown kind of in the crease. And then really what I need to do now is just blend a little bit more. So I'm just kind of going back and forth and just blending all of these colors together. And you might find like once in a while you have to go and wipe off your brush it's just so your blending doesn't turn into like a big muddy mess. Now before I finish, um, I'm gonna add a little bit of eyeliner because that's gonna help me decide how much more eyeshadow I wanna use. So I'm gonna line my top lid um, first with a pencil and then I'm gonna go over with MAC Black Track. I'm taking this MAC Tarnish, this is like a really dark green, and I'm just gonna get my upper waterline and just above the lashes. I actually changed my mind. I was gonna use black track, but I decided that I'm gonna use the dark one from this Emerald Oasis palette, which is right in the center. It's like a really, really dark charcoal-y black with a little bit of shimmer. And I'm gonna take a skinny brush like this. This is a MAC 266. And I am going to just go over it and just kind of fill in and darken that liner. Okay, so what I did is I just kind of went back and forth between um, the blending colors and then I added a little bit of um, this darker color in the crease. So I kind of just went back and forth with a little of this in the crease and then I kind of refilled in with the green and then blended everything out with these lighter colors here just to kind of let you know what's going on. I don't show every step because I feel like it might be a little boring and time consuming for you guys to watch everything. So it's just kind of all about the blending and then if things get a little muddy, you just kind of have to go back and redeposit. So that's basically what I did. What I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this matte highlight color. So kudos to Estee Lauder for putting a matte highlight in. Um, I feel like you're always seeing so much shimmery highlight, so it's nice to have a matte highlight. I'm just gonna put that under the brow bone. I'm just gonna zoom in so you guys can see. This is gonna go under the brow bone here. And then a little bit in this inner corner. Now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of concealer and conceal under the eyes and around the nose and all those places that you get a little discolored and you just want to highlight a little bit. I'm using the Studio Finish Concealer by MAC in NW20, which I really like for under the eyes. A lot of people say that it will crease, but I find if I do it really lightly and then I just put a little bit of powder over it, I find that it actually wears pretty well. So I'm actually going to go back with this small brush. This is a real technique. This is actually a contour blush brush. I like it for various things, but I like that it's small and it gets under your eyes nicely so you can kind of smooth out your concealer. So now I'm going to curl lashes and apply mascara. But 
first let me powder I almost forgot that this is actually a mineral makeup I'm into the mineral makeup because they do give you coverage they also have SPF so I'm just gonna do a light buff so I'm actually going to use two different blushes for this because I want peachy pink, but maybe a little more pink. So I'm going to use this one. This is Peach Passion by Estee Lauder. It's got a little shimmer, but not overly shimmery. And I'm also going to use this pinky one, which is a nice cool pink from Chanel called Tumult. And I'm going to blend those together for my cheeks. Okay, so on the cheeks, I used a little bit of this pink blush and a little bit of this peach one uh, swirled together just to give me a little bit of lift and a little bit of color. It doesn't pick up that much on camera, but um, when I look in the mirror, it's definitely pretty strong. I might use false lashes, but today I wouldn't actually because I'm gonna be teaching later, so I think that would be a little excessive. And then on the lips, I'm going to use one of my favorite lipsticks. I'm first going to put the lipstick on. This is Chanel Grass the Urban Decay Liner in Naked, which is a little bit more brown. All right, so that's the finished look. I hope you guys like it. It's similar to stuff I've done in the past if you've watched any of my other videos, but I'm a big sucker for green eyeshadow, so I hope you enjoy this. And let me know if you have any comments or questions. Thanks so much.